To make Algoria blazing fast at answering search queries, the engine pre-sorts the records at indexing time. And because of this, each index can only hold a single ranking strategy. But what if you needed to use multiple ranking strategies based on the exact same dataset? Well, the solution for that is to use replicants. A replica is a full copy of another index. You can look at this as a primary-secondary relationship between an index and the derived replica. There are a few points to keep in mind. The first one is that more is not always better. In the old days, websites used to provide their end users with multiple pre-sorting to choose from, because at the time, relevance was pretty bad. We've seen with Algolia that it's super easy and fast to configure a great relevance, so it's unnecessary to confuse your users with an extra step. And second, each replica increases the total number of records of your application. This will impact your Algolia size usage and potentially increase your cost. Let's get back to our web store example. We have partitioned our users into four categories, one for new visitors and three others for those who have previously visited our store. For each of these categories, we'll have a dedicated custom ranking. The first element we need is a pre-existing index configured with the initial data. We call this index the primary index. Then we create replicas off of this primary index with the set setting method. We can have as many replicas as we want, but in this example we'll just create three, one per user segment. We recommend calling the primary index and its replicas with similar names only adding keywords at the end that explain their differences. In this case, since the primary index is called products, we'll call its replicas product underscore seg1, products underscore seg2, products underscore seg3. The primary index and its replicas are guaranteed to always contain the same records. Any change on the data itself has to be made on the primary index and will be automatically mirrored on all replicas. The only thing that will set them apart is their own ranking strategy and settings. Let's see how to proceed to apply the general ranking attribute as a custom ranking for unidentified visitors and the computed custom rankings per segment. First thing I need to do is apply the custom ranking on the primary index, descending general rating. Then uh, we need to do the exact same thing for each replica index that we've created previously. So we'll start with the replica index seg1. Uh, we've named it previously products underscore seg1. So I'm initiating the index products underscore seg1. Replica index seg1, I'm setting the settings on that. And then I'm accessing the seg1 computed business metric from the segmented rating. So descending segmented underscores rating dot seg1. And then I just need to do the exact same thing for uh, the product seg2 index and product seg3. So fast and seg3, real good. We now have four indices containing the same data, but with different configurations. The last step is to make sure that our end users are interacting with the correct index on the front end. There you have it, replicas are the way to go when you need multiple ranking strategies on the same dataset.